meiosis. Meiosis is the process of cell division that produces gametes, eh? and uh, gametes is produced in reproductive organs like the testes or ovary, and it contains half of the numbers of chromosomes in the parent cells. <coughs> And during meiosis, four new cells will be produced by one parent cell. This is different from mitosis. The mitosis will produce two cells, but meiosis will produce four cells. Okay? And mitosis is for the cell divisions of somatic cells, and a meiosis is for reproductive cells. Okay. Let's see the process. Like the mitosis, uh, at the beginnings, the chromosomes thicken and become clearly visible. Okay, this is the chromosome. It becomes very thick, clearly visible. And each chromosome duplicates itself and joins at the central mere. This is still the same as mitosis. Eh? Okay, it becomes thickens and then it duplicates and then joins at the central mere. And again, same as mitosis, the nuclear membranes will disappear. Okay, suppose we have a nuclear a nucleus here. Now it disappears. And then the spindle is formed from the centriole. Okay, the centriole will, will move to the two pole and then uh, this spindle will form. Uh, okay, so after that, the centriole move to the opposite pole. Okay, this is uh, the opposite pole or the centriole move to the opposite pole. And then the spindle is attached to the central mirror. This is still the same as the mitosis, right? So we have this spindle from the centriole and then this uh, spindle will attach to the, the central near uh, which is the the middle parts of the chromosome eh? and then the homologous chromosomes pair up and arrange at the equatorial plates so the chromosome with same contents and same numbers uh, we arrange in the middles of the cell which is called the equatorial plate and uh, Crossing over occurs for genetic material exchange. So crossing over means that um, the, the chromosome of the cell we can exchange, okay, cross over and exchange the gene within them. Okay, after that, the centriole move to the pole and homologous chromosomes separate and move to the opposite poles of the cell. So uh, the chromosome is being pulled to the pole eh, okay, by the, this, the centriole. And after that, cytoplasm divide to form two haploid daughter cells. Okay, so after the chromosome move to the two poles, then uh, the cytoplasm will, will divide to, to make it to become two cells. Eh? So in the daughter cells, the chromosome arrange at the equatorial plate again. However, these times chromosomes are not paired. So just now we, we learned that it produces uh, two cells, okay? And these two cells has chromosome and the chromosomes again arrange at the equatorial plate, yep. And uh, after that, the chromatic separates and move to the opposite pole, okay? So you arrange here and then you move to the opposite pole, eh? okay? So after that, four new cells are formed. Each one has half numbers of the chromosome as the parent cell. So it formed four new cells, and then the new cells carry the, the genetics information as the mother cell, okay? So we can see that so from one cell, from one cell, it can produce four cells. Eh? Importance of meiosis. Meiosis carry the responsibilities eh, of uh, productions of gametes. Eh? Gametes is a cell for uh, reproductions, okay? And meiosis is important in the productions of variation because it only carry half of the uh, chromosome, okay? So when this half of chromosomes combine with the other half from uh, the other organisms, then it can uh, cause variations for the organisms. And maintaining the number of chromosomes in somatic cells, okay? Meiosis can help to maintain the number of chromosomes in chromatic cells, eh? okay? So this is the importance of meiosis.